Good morning everyone, uh, this is Monty Serrano from the Philippine Business News and right now we are honored to uh, interview the Ambassador of uh, Czech Republic here in the Philippines, uh, Her Excellency Jana Sashejiba. Uh, good morning Ambassador. Good morning, good morning Monty. Yeah, thank you so much for granting us the interview. Oh, it's my pleasure, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I, I've been following uh, the activities of the Czech Republic and really very impressive and I know that you have brought a lot of uh, businesses uh, last year uh, here in the Philippines and you continue to do a lot of uh, activities for the Filipino people for which we are very honored. Uh, right now, uh, Your Excellency, what are the plans that you have for, for the Philippines for 2020? Thank you, Monse. First of all, pleasure is on our side because cooperation with you, I remember when I met you just one year ago when I arrived and really thank you so much for your support. Uh, we have lots of plans. You noticed we are quite small embassy and we have in Czech Republic only 10 million people. It means our embassy here is also quite little and of course our budget is limited. But we are very lucky because we have a great team of four diplomats here and we are very enthusiastic about our work. So we plan to do, we actually plan to continue with our projects uh, in the field of culture, public diplomacy, but humanitarian and development assistance as well. And you already men mentioned business, so we also plan to do lots of business. Uh, seminars and opportunities. Just uh, for instance this year what we planned, we, last year you noticed we had joint commissions uh, between our ministries of defense and ministry of trade. So we hope to have follow-up this year. Uh, we also plan to bring Secretary Lorenzana mm. to Prague this year. So we are already working on this very high official visit and we hope we can even deepen our cooperation. Right now, uh, what are the companies that are here in, in the Philippines? Well, we are quite happy that we have Pilsner Urquell company here. Everybody knows, I believe now, check beer Pilsner Urquell. You can buy it now in Rustans or even 7-Eleven. This is what we did last year. Uh, you can also have it draft in some pubs and restaurants in Makati or BGC. So we plan to promote more Pilsner Urquell and this is one of our main targets actually. Uh, we also do a lot uh, in, di in diary uh, projects. We are in close cooperation with your Ministry of Agriculture and National Diary Authority. We had a huge project last year and we are going to continue this year again. We are in contact with local farmers, we are having Czech farmers and people from agriculture coming and sharing our so far experience with them. So this is another project we are working on. Uh, of course we do a lot IT. Uh, we had quite interesting seminar last year about IT innovations and similar issues, so we plan to do the same and we hope to bring more Czech companies uh, to, to the Philippines. Yeah, la last year the beer net was very, very successful. What what made, made you? Of, uh, my colleague, Benjamin, it was his idea and I really supported it. Uh, yeah, we want to do it a bit differently because, you know, being diplomat here, we always go to nice hotels, having nice formal receptions, but we decided to somehow uh, promote Czech beer culture to, to people here in the Philippines and it means it's not in fancy hotel, it's in a bit simpler places, having only draft beer, having simple but very good quality food and gather together with friends and family and have some fun and not to be stressed about anything. So we actually hope we will do it this year again we are already in contact with possible sponsors and we hope we can have it at the end of this year again and that you and your colleagues will be there. Certainly. Yeah. Ambassador, uh, what are the companies that you are talking right now for 2020 that are uh, under negotiation to see and explore the Philippine business? 
Well, you know, being a small country, I really cannot name a big company like Pilsner or Well, it's yeah. quite unique. Of course, we have other companies like uh, speaking about IT, Avaaz, yeah. they are here, Flowmon and similar companies. Uh, what we also do and try to do a bit more is promote Czech glass and crystal. So we hope maybe to present our company Preciosa here in the Philippines. Uh, because uh, Czech glass and crystal work is quite famous here. Everybody knows companies like Glasswitch. They are now based in Hong Kong. Uh, so we hope they can do more here in the Philippines as well. But to be absolutely honest, our, it's not our goal because we are a small country and even in European Union we rather rely on big companies like from Germany or France. So bring, we plan to bring here maybe smaller companies who can offer very good quality products. Uh, and I already mentioned glass, uh, brewery, also food. We have very good uh, quality food products and I noticed that actually people here they try to live healthier. So I think this is another chance for our companies. But I cannot uh, name any, yeah. any, yeah. We, of course, we are a small country, so we don't have really, you know, big names. Your country is small, but it's beautiful. I've seen a lot of uh, videos and uh, stories. Uh, like, a lot of Filipinos are aspiring to go and visit that uh, check. Uh, uh, what's the process of for them to go and visit uh, Czech? Yeah, we have more and more Filipinos who are traveling to Czech Republic. Most of them go there only as tourists and usually they combine it with other countries. But the increase of interest is really remarkable. It's double from last year. Uh, we also have now a special program from last year. It was introduced our government. It's a program for 1,000 uh, Filipino workers, but specialists. So mostly they are engineers or they have some technical uh, education and they work in Czech factories or in Czech business. So it's for high level uh, educated people. We call it like professionals. So uh, we also expect, because our companies are extremely happy as Filipino workers, they are very professional and they are also very kind and humble and they are really good companions. So we also expect that they will demand more and more uh, people working in the Czech Republic on professional posts. So we have to work on this as well. And it's quite easy actually. We are part of the European Union. We are uh, in a Schengen space. So if you go to Czech Republic, you have to always uh, have Schengen visa or Czech visa. But as I mentioned, usually people travel there and they combine with other countries. So Schengen visa is much better and that's what we recommend. It's easy. You just uh, have to follow a certain procedure and if you fulfill all documents, and then, then you just apply and you can have your visa within a few days. What's the best time to go to Czech? We used to say it's May and September because summer is very hot. But, you know, now everything is changing a bit, so now climate change also sometimes causes that even May is extremely hot or it's extremely cold, so it's difficult. But in general, I would recommend spring, summer and beginning of autumn, because now it's quite cold, you know, we have like around zero or even below zero, so for Filipino it might be too cold and they complain it's too cold. On the other hand, it's less crowded. So my country is, we are fortunate, we don't have really natural disasters and so on, like you here in the Philippines. So in general you can come any months of the year and you can, you can enjoy the country. I hope you will come this year as well, yeah. with your colleagues. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, Ambassador, you are already one year here. Uh, what was your experience in the Philippines? Yeah, uh, it's not cliche, but it's just the best experience I, I have. Uh, I was received, you know, really with open arms of my colleagues and Filipino friends and even colleagues, other diplomats. So my so far experience is very positive. It's, it's really nice to see how humble 
people here are and how, how friendly they treat us foreigners. I am very grateful for this. I don't take it as granted and I actually learn, I hope I can learn this and maybe show to Europeans we can be more positive and we can be more friendly and help each other more. So my experience is really very, very unusual. And uh, I can, I, before my postings were always in Asia or Europe, like the Netherlands, Jakarta, China. So I have comparison and for me, I can dare to say this is definitely the best country I've been, I've been posted. So many thanks to all Filipinos. I feel really like at home here. How is it uh, working with the uh, Philippine uh, colleagues here in the embassy? Uh, here at the embassy again, I think I am blessed because my colleagues here are gorgeous. We have younger colleagues, for them of course it's uh, in general good start, good beginning, they gain experience here. But they are very professional, very enthusiastic, extremely reliable and what's visible every day, they have big heart and then you can feel that, that this is very important if you do your work and you believe in this and you have passion for this. So again, special thanks to my Filipina colleagues, especially to Filipina colleagues. Ambassador, uh, we would like you to explain further about the culture, the activities that of course, last year, I know you've been active, you've been honored uh, people in Bataan. Uh, now, uh, what other things that you have been doing and will be doing? Uh, and more about uh, the Czech Republic's activities here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are, as I already mentioned, we also try to do lots of cultural activities. You know, we last year we did lots of movie screening, so we plan to do the same again. We will have some European Union film festival. We are also planning small Czech movie film festivals in provinces. We also play, uh, plan to display Czech movie in Rizal Park. It will be for public, huge event, you know, under the open air. Uh, you remember Monse, we had a very uh, good musician guitarist yeah. last year. This year we actually plan to bring three musicians and they are just wow. trio. They play really nice, so we hope they will actively participate at Jazz Piano, uh, Jazz Manila Festival, Manila Jazz Festival, and they will also go to perhaps Il Il to play there because we try to focus on provinces, not only on Manila. Yes. Uh, you remember our exhibitions from last year, so yes. we plan to have perhaps in second half of year more exhibitions. Usually we cooperate together with universities like Ateneo University. Mm -hmm. What we also plan this year, we have close cooperation with uh, some uh, universities in the province. So mm -hmm. again, all together with that, we will do lots of cultural activities and so on. But I would like to mention something we are yes, really yes. proud of. You know, our country was under Soviet bloc till 89. And in early 90s, we used to receive lots of like transition help and advice from the West. And now we are actually the only East or Central European country having special development and humanitarian projects. So we have, they are like small scale projects. We always focus on one school, one hospital, one village, mostly in province. And for instance, I already mentioned diaries, so we will continue with this. We will have also continuation with project uh, regarding water and cleaning water. Uh, we installed uh, actually a system for cleaning water last year in Sapian. So we plan to do something similar this year again. What we also do, we have small projects helping with shelters and uh, building new houses for people in Northern Luzon, but also in Visayas, including Iloilo and other places around. So this is something I and my colleagues are really proud of. Uh, it's not big money like from big countries and their development agencies, but this is something what we really like to do and we do with big heart. And 
Also, we try to do some charity, but it's rather on a personal basis. We all are parents having children, so we in general try to help children or seniors, elder people. Sometimes we forget on that, so we usually do some free screening of movies or some little culture activities. And we definitely plan to continue and do even more on, uh, let's say, culture and humanitarian development field this year as well. Wow. So it's going to be an exciting 2020 year at Sabat Definitely. Definitely for us. And uh, we also hope for your support. Certainly. And that you can join us with our activities. So, yeah, you're already invited for concerts. Yeah. I think the uh, Jazz Festival is scheduled uh, on the end of, I think it's last weekend in April. Mm -hmm. So Czech musicians will be there. So this will, this is already two months. Yeah, in advance. Yeah. We, what we also planned was actually a high official visit with Czech businessman, uh, our Speaker of Senate, who's uh, actually number two in the Czech Republic, was supposed to come in one month, but unfortunately uh, it was cancelled, not because of what's going on now, but he very suddenly and unexpectedly passed away. But we are already preparing maybe another high official visit. Our Secretary of Trade might come, or our Secretary of uh, Protection of Nature, is also Vice Prime Minister, might come this or next year, all together with Czech business businessmen to be to meet people here and see what we can do uh, and target our focus on concrete activities. Well, that's going to be exciting, Your Excellency. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we we really, we also hope, like in in the Philippines, a lot of enterprising Filipinos. Uh, probably we can, the Filipinos can do some trading w with the Czech Republic. Yeah, this is good. Actually, I must say uh, that uh, you are doing quite well. You have better trade with us. Uh, your export is higher than our to the Philippines. Uh, mostly it's in electronics and chips. I think what we also want to do to the uh, ambassador of the Philippines in Czech Republic to bring more uh, like dry fruit products to Czech Republic because everybody loves your dried mango or coconut and you cannot buy it in my country, you cannot buy it in Europe. So this is also one of our dreams, you know, and also I would like to mention what we need for this is maybe having an FTA signed between the European Union and the Philippines. And Czech Republic is very active in this. We are in support of signing FTA uh, soon. So on our diplomatic uh, level in Brussels, uh, we definitely try to do to have it as soon as possible because this will help uh, our mutual business a lot, especially uh, small companies. Sometimes it's difficult. It's more than 10,000 kilometers, the distance between two countries. So sometimes small businessmen or businesses, they worry in case they are not successful, they might lose, so they are cautious. But if we have some incentives and if we have maybe some guarantees, insurance, this might be easier. So this is, of course, what we are working on as well. Uh, any message to the Filipino people, Your Excellency? Uh, not really message, only expressing my gratitude, what I've just said. I am experiencing actually a very nice time of my life and Filipino people are very nice, very friendly and they always try to find solution, compromise. I, I really like you working team. So. My message is actually thank you to each one of you and I am grateful I can be here and I hope we can do also more for the Philippines and I think I really believe in teamwork so for me uh, working on a team Czech people and Filipino people or people from European Union together with Filipinos is, is really important so in a sense. Mambo.